Russian President Vladimir Putin has declared a nationwide day of mourning as new details emerged about a deadly plane crash. Russia's top aviation official says the passenger plane broke up at a high altitude, killing all 224 people on board. As Brian Webb reports, it crashed shortly after takeoff from Egypt yesterday. Russia's top aviation official says the Airbus 321 broke apart at high altitude, but the cause remains unknown. The wreckage is scattered over a six-mile area of the Sinai Peninsula, an area where Egyptian security forces have battled local Islamic militants for years. Recently, they pledged their allegiance to ISIS. The Metro jet carrying 224 people was on its way from the Red Sea resort of Sham el-Sheikh to Russia. At 31,000 feet, the pilot reported technical problems, and 23 minutes after takeoff, the plane disappeared from radar. Family and friends flocked to St. Petersburg Airport looking for answers. This man's wife was a passenger. Russian search teams have arrived to help retrieve the bodies of victims and help find the cause of the crash. The black boxes have been recovered, but not deciphered. A spokesperson from the airline says they have no reason to believe that there was any error by the crew. Sunday is a day of mourning in Russia for one of its deadliest air disasters. Brian Webb for CBS News. Several airlines are avoiding the airspace out of safety concerns, including Qatar, Lufthansa, Air France, and the Egyptian officials say the investigation could take months.